Well, what is going on everybody? It's a beautiful evening and tonight I'm actually getting out with some friends and we're gonna go bow fishing. I'm gonna try to kill me a buffalo carp. Actually, they're not actually carp. They're actually their own species, buffalo fish. Let's see if I can't stick a buffalo tonight. And if I do, we're gonna do a catch, clean, cook buffalo. If I don't, we'll maybe just shoot some carp and some gar, but whatever I shoot, we're gonna bring it home. We're gonna cook it right here for you guys. Stay tuned. We're gonna be cooking some rough fish for you. Let's get it. All right, guys. Well, we have made it to the water. Tim's got his boat. It started and generator started. Now we're gonna try to go shoot a couple fish. You ready, Tim? I'm ready. Put me in the water, coach. I've done this once or twice. I know how to do it. Man, this is the first time I've been behind a boat since I fished with Carl. For that, it has been months. So, and it's probably still been months. So, let's get on the water here and try to catch some fish. God said, let there be light. Right there. Call those football buffs. Buff. Alright guys, so now that we've got a few buffs, we're gonna shut down the cameras and we're gonna see you guys at the grill. I can't wait to smoke one of these things up, so let's get off the water and let's go smoke us some fish. Right, guys, well, we got back to the ramp. We've got a barrel full of fish. I'm gonna take a few of these buffalo. We're gonna put them in a put them in the truck and we're gonna put the rest of them in our dirt pile and kind of make a compost. So let's get to the house and uh, let's go cook some buffalo. Alright guys, so we've made it back home. It's the next morning. I'm a little bit sleepy. It's pretty late, it's about eleven. We had a great time boat fishing, me and Tim last night, shot a lot of fish, but I did preserve two of them. Uh, the very last two that we shot, I put on the top. We got some ice as soon as we left the boat ramp, and you can see that they're still nice and healthy. Got nice bright red gills. And so, today I'm gonna to be cleaning. This is the buffalo. Some people think it's a buffalo carp, but this is actually just a buffalo fish. And this is the common carp. Both are highly sought after by, by um, a lot of people for eating. A lot of American people don't eat carp, a lot of bow fishermen just throw them away or use them to um, to put in their gardens or in fields to help cultivate the soil. But today we're going to actually cook the buffalo and we're going to cook the common carp. We're going to test them together. Let's get them flayed out and uh, let's see how they look. Hills. Mm. 
They are very meaty fish, but they do have a lot of bones, which is their downfall of why so many people will not eat them. But we're gonna try to see if we can't combat that today. <clears throat> And this is a female. She's already got eggs. And that's what they're doing right now. That's why we're able to shoot them because they're up in the banks spawning. Look how beautiful that meat looks. Now, as I run my finger down through here, I can feel what we call the Y bones. There's bones here. There's bones here, right there. So we're gonna take those out and we're gonna make sure that we, some we're gonna take out, some we're actually gonna cook with in this fish and we're gonna see if the meat can't pull away from the bones. And it will be like a crumbled up meat, but it's gonna be delicious. You know, when I was, um, when I was stationed all over the place in the army, we actually had a thing, cause I love bow fishing. And something I did almost every duty station was I found a local Chinese restaurant that had authentic Chinese people in it. And I'm saying this for a reason, this is nothing about being racist or nothing, but Chinese people grew up around carp and they love carp. And so I would bow fish and I would actually keep one or two fish, my last couple fish, and I would ice them down and first thing in the morning, I would take them to the, the Asian restaurant, Chinese restaurant, and a lot of these were in Alexandria, Virginia. And I would trade the fish for Chinese food. Now, these people were not eating, or they were not selling the fish. They were eating it because they loved it so much. And I offered them good fish, and they didn't want the good fish, they wanted the carp. All right, there's one buffalo. We'll, I'm gonna toss him in a bucket real quick. Voila, bucket. The amazingness of TV vision. So, when I would trade these for Chinese food, the Chinese pe the Chinese restaurant people would actually go and uh, eat them, and they would make soup with the carp head. They said that they love to make soup with the carp's head. They would boil it. And so, I never tried it. They never made it for me to try, but I bet it was good. My grandfather used to catch, we, we caught a lot of catfish. And when my grandfather would, while we're catfishing with um, this bait called dough bait that he made, amazing bait by the way, um, sometimes you would, he would catch a carp or a buffalo. A lot of the time he would just hit the carp in the head and toss them back, let them die. But when he caught a buffalo, he would actually take it home and we would smoke it with lemon pepper. So that's what we're gonna try. We're gonna try grandpa's smoked buffalo recipe. I'm going to attempt to just scale this part of the fish. Okay, so we have scaled this fish. There's the skin side. You can see how all the scales are gone. And we're gonna try to use this one as well. Try to do something different. All right guys, so now we're on to the carp. I think I'm gonna go ahead and scale this one first while he's on the fish. Then we'll cut this filet off and then I'll flay the other side. Whew, God, okay, finally got it done. And then we'll, we'll rinse the play off in a minute. Now you're gonna notice the difference in the meat color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to. 
I'm not gonna go too far down the belly. It's a small fish. There we go. Okay. Here we go. All right, guys. There's our common carp flayed. I'm gonna clean these up. I'm gonna skin this one out. And uh, let's get in the kitchen and try to cook these. A couple different All right, well, it's time to smoke this fish. Let's put it on smoke right there. I'll wait till that gets to smoking. We'll get the fish seasoned up. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out my skin side, skinned flay, the, or the, not the flayed one, but the one that we scaled. That is the buffalo scaled carp. Here's the scale carp. You can tell a huge difference in the meat, okay? Carp, buffalo. Carp, buffalo. I'm gonna season them liberally with my lemon pepper. Here they are, all seasoned up. We're gonna go put them on the smoker. Okay, so what we wanna do, is we wanna take a double, a piece of a uh, foil, you wanna double it up, or you can use that heavy duty foil and double that one up. If you're using the thin stuff, I recommend like maybe tripling it up. I'm gonna take my buffalo filet. We're gonna take the carp filet. We've got the carp here. We've got the buffalo here. I made some aluminum foil plates for them to cook on. I'm gonna give this about three hours and then we're gonna come back and see how they are. See if they're done where they're gonna fall off the bone. If we need to cook them longer, we will, but we're gonna give them three hours at smoke, which is about 180 degrees. All right, guys. Well, I have been working in the house doing, uh, putting in venting for our shower fans and it's been about three, three and a half hours. So we're gonna check out what we got. So here we have the carp. This is the carp. And here we have the buffalo. Let me turn this smoker off. Let that thing cool down for a while. Let's go inside and check out, check it out. So Ellie, check uh -huh. this out. Um, what do you think this is? Food. Well, yeah, it's food. I got right. I have two different fish here. And I'm not going to tell you what kind of fish they are. You have, because she doesn't know anything about what I cleaned, what I caught. They were all in bed. They didn't see carp. anything. What? What do you mean? Is it carp? Okay, there is carp and there is buffalo here. Buffalo's yeah. not a fish. Buffalo is a fish. It's one of these fish. Buffalo's and, not a fish. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to break into this, okay? And I'm going to try to get the bones, try to get all the bones out of it. I've never tasted a buffalo yeah. before. I'm going to show everybody the bones that, that we're dealing with here, okay? You guys can start to see them. This is why it's really hard to eat this fish as a, like you're flaying it because you end up eating it kind of like just mush fish. And because if you don't do this, then you will end up with some bones. Here's the bones. Okay. And I call them a Y bone because it's literally, I don't know if you can see that. It's literally a Y. It's got multiple pieces on it. Okay. And that's what the bones look like. So what we're going to do now, Ellie, don't mess everything up because I'm going to do a blind taste test with everything. Okay. I'm going to separate some of this fish here. I'm going to separate some of that fish there. And only me and the viewers know what fish is which. Mm. You guys don't know yet. Okay. And I'm going to let you guys taste it. Seasoned with the same stuff. Okay. So that is fish A. Okay, 
Why is it called A? Fish A. And there is a big bone there. Here's all the bones from one fillet, guys. Now, this is not rib bones. These are just the Y bones that you would have to dig around to eat them. Those are all bones. Here's even some more. There we go. Okay, that's that one. Now we're going to move on to fish B. Yep, there are bones there. We're going to go ahead and break it. Now, you guys remember this fish had a lot more whiter meat. Okay. There's bones sticking out from the top. Yep. So that's, that's peeled off. So there's not as much fat and, and red. You can already start to see the bones sticking out of right there. So I'm gonna break a piece. Oh, this skin came off good, look. Yep. I found another scale, but this one's bigger than one piece. Okay, let's see here. So the bones look a lot similar. You can see that right there. Yeah, there you go. They have a lot of bones on, on each bone. It's, it's just crazy. There's um, bones sticking out the top. Can I pull them out? No, we're gonna tear this all to, apart because we have to make sure we don't get any bones in the it. meat. I'm very impatient. Ooh, stuck myself in the finger with a bone. Uh oh, at least you know it's there. I would say bone fish A's bones are thicker and less. Um, these bones have a lot more Y to them. And a lot more like, look at that, like that little bone right there. So that. Smaller bones. Yeah, smaller bones. Look how small those are. So I have to watch this Extra careful. fish a little bit closer. Okay. And that was toward the tail, so yeah. You see the bones sticking out? The fish doesn't look like a fish shape. Maybe it's because it's a buffalo, not a fish. Mm -hmm. Just a few of them. Dad, have we ever had carp before? Um, I have, yep. Well, My grandfather us. would cook for it. The no, people. you guys have never eaten this, so I'm... Because it's tedious and... Yes. It's not fair. The people that are testing to see which ones are which, we haven't eaten any of the fish. And that's why I'm testing. Look at all those bones. That doesn't make sense. It's a lot of bones. This is a way very bony fish. Yes, very bony fish. Okay, but if you split it just like that, look at them. There. Here is what we broke it open. Look at these bones. Look at all those bones. Now, if I hold that, I should be able to. Pull those bones right out, just like this. These are very, very cool. Yep. Yeah, not that pokey. Well, okay. These are actually easier to pull out, it seems. And then here's... They're very pretty. It's a whole line of them. They kind of make a cool sound. Wow, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's not even all of them yet. Look at them bones. And that's only one side. Okay, so we're going to set that down. Now we're going to go through this and see if there's any more small bones. <laughs> Look how many bones are on that. That's a single bone, guys, by the way. That's a single bone. They're so pretty. There's one, two, three. Yeah, it's like a feather. It really is like a feather. Okay, guys. So... Now is time to do the taste test. I've got, um, the kids are gonna eat this. They're not gonna know which one. I'm gonna let them have a little bite of each and they have to tell me which one they like better. All right, guys, come here. I thought we have to see it in, in the color, which is which. Yeah, this one's the buffalo. You don't know that. You don't know what, what's anything because you didn't see nothing. So, I didn't. okay. You guys grab a piece of this fish. This is fish B. This is fish A. Maddie, hurry up. What do you think? Mm, that's good. 
All right. I like it. You like it? Maddie, eat it. Here, Maddie, come try this one. That was can we make a guess on which one it is? No, you're no. gonna tell okay, us which so one you like. No, okay, so after you, after you taste that one, everybody taste that one, you know what it tastes like. Okay, get the taste out of your mouth. You get any bones? Did you chew up any bones? No. Okay, so that's fish B. This is fish A, now take a bite of fish A. I probably swallow, swallowed a bone. Why are you getting such a big piece? Be careful, because it could have some bones in it. I think I swallowed about one. Thin one? Small one? I think I like fish A more. Don't this is fish more. A. Fish A, fish B. She took two pieces. Okay, Maddie, which one do you like more? Do you like fish A or fish B? Done eating. Is this good or not? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you keep eating. Okay, fish A or fish B? Uh, this is fish A. Mm -hmm. This is fish B. Which I, one do you like more, Linda? I like B. Alright, what? A, B. A, B. Which one? B. This one? Okay. Jeremiah, which one do you like more? A or B? Fish A. This one? Yeah. Fish A. B means buffalo. Okay. So. No, I just picked A and B. You don't know what's just which. <laughs> All right, Eli. Um, a or B? I'm going to say A. I mean, B is like more... It just has like more spice to it. I don't know if that's the. No. They're seasoned exactly the same. This no, is just, they all have lemon pepper. Tastes more different, but I like a more. A, can you explain the flavor? Like other fish that you've eaten, you've eaten a lot of different fish. Um, this tastes like um paddlefish to me. It tastes smoke, like paddlefish. Smoked paddlefish. And this one tastes more like more like catfish, a little bit. What do you think, Linda? Does fish B taste more like catfish? I like the texture of A better, but it's a little bit more fishy because maybe because it's yeah, a red. Yeah, it's a bit more fishy. Okay, so it's more fishy and it's, it was more red. It's more red. Yeah. And does this, what does this one taste like? Tropical. It's drier. It's, it seems it's, like it's drier. It's more tropical. Well, they were cooked the exact have, same time. I have a vote. That one was bigger. That one was smaller. Flay. Uh, what? I like, I like B. You like B? Yeah. Okay. So Maddie, Maddie's a B. Two Bs and two. Ellie's a B. A. Jeremiah's a A. 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 Jeremiah A. Or Elijah A. Linda A or B. Which one's your favorite? I don't know. <laughs> They're both good. This one, just because it's not as fishy. You like B. It's not as fishy. It's not as fishy. Yeah, I like the fishiness. You like the fishiness? Yeah. Okay. Even do you think it should it should be a trash fish? If I served this to you and you didn't know what it was, um, would you think it was a trash fish or would you think it was something we bought at the store? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't taste like what do you mean the fish trash you eat at restaurants. No. I mean, well, one well, when it's smoked, but like, it's just it just tastes a little bit more fishy, but it's not bad. It's not like you taste like trash. Well, when do you think switch? This one's buffalo, this one's the cart. What's what you think? What do you think it is? Which one's which, Matt, uh, Ellie? I agree with Maddie. I think that's the cart and that's the buffalo. You okay. know why? Which one do you think's which, Eli? Oh, buffalo cart. You think this is buffalo and you think that's cart? Yep. Jeremiah, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Buffalo cart. Told this, you. I, I think this is the buffalo because I, when you filleted it, this was the buffalo had the white meat and the carp had the red well, meat. Well, that's because you're cheating. Cheater. Oh, we, weren't Cheater. we weren't with him. <laughs> yeah, you guys weren't. All right, guys, so this fish A, that's carp. What? All of us got it wrong. This fish B is buffalo. We all got it mixed up. But would you say we should eat this more often? Do you think people throwing them away is wasting a good fish? Yes. Yeah. I know Asians don't throw them away. They eat it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, so there you go. Four, no, five people ate the fish. Couldn't figure out what was different between the carp and the buffalo. Mom could. We smoked. She she cheated because it was Yeah, then why do you flavor. say five? It's four of us. Okay, four of you guys that didn't know what the flays were. Um, seasoned it with lemon pepper, and we put it in the smoker. The smoker ended up being between 180 and 200 degrees. It was a pellet smoker pit boss with smoke, with, uh, you know, with smoking pellets. We smoked it about three, three and a half hours, pulled it off, shredded it, take all the bones out. They were able to try it and 
We didn't do anything special. No sauce, no nothing, no ketchup, no nothing. So kids ate it. They liked it. Definitely doable. Brings back a lot of memories from my grandfather smoking them whenever I was a kid. All right, Ellie. I would say that that's a fish we can eat, huh? Yeah, both of them. Now we gotta try it pressure cooked and see if we can get oh, those bones to, to dissolve. Let's pressure cook. I think that's gonna be way too mushy. You think it's gonna be mushy? I don't like the idea of the pressure cooker. Well, I wanna try the pressure cooker. All right, guys, well, you've seen it. We cooked fresh buffalo and fresh carp, shot them with our bows. It's totally edible. It's totally, totally edible. If you catch one, don't throw it back. Don't kill it. Take it home and eat it. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's Donovan and Ellie and Team Tate. We love y'all. See you on the next video. Bye.